In this video, we'll be showing you how to configure a custom volt watt response of an SMA Core 1 inverter through the Data Manager M. We'll be programming the following volt watt response using values required by Osgrid as an example. Here we assume that you've already commissioned the Data Manager M and the STP Core 1 inverter. First, you need to log into the Data Manager M either through connecting to its local area network or online via NXOS Sunny Portal. Use the username and password that you set during the commissioning process. Once you have logged in, press on the settings wheel icon and then press device parameter adjustment. On this page, press system parameter assistant and you'll be presented with a list of the inverters and devices that are connected to the Data Manager M. Click on the inverter that you wish to change the setting of. Note that you can select multiple inverters to change all the settings at the same time. Then press Next. We can enable a custom volt watt response by changing the following settings. All these settings can be found in the list of parameters displayed in this dialog area. You can shorten the list by adding a filter word such as the first six letters of characteristic. You will see a setting called activation of the characteristic curve and for curve number one, which is the one we'll be using for the volt watt response, you'll see that it's already active. The next setting that we need to look for is the number of points to be used in the characteristic curve. We'll change this to four to match the four reference voltages given by Osgrid. Next we will check the parameter x-axis ref characteristic 1. This is the units of the x-axis for characteristic graph 1. You can select the units of voltage to be in volts or as a percentage unit relative to the nominal voltage. I'll use percentage units. Now we need to change the x values of characteristic curve number one. And these correspond to the reference voltages that we showed earlier. Next, we need to change the y values of characteristic curve one, which correspond to the active power limitation that we showed earlier. After you've made all these changes, you're ready to move on to the next step. On the following page, you will see a summary of all the changes that you have made. If you are happy with these, you can press save and all the settings will be uploaded to the selected inverters in the system. Note that the upload may not be instant. A list of any remaining settings to be uploaded will be shown on this next page. You have now set up a custom volt watt response to the inverters connected to the Data Manager M. 